let's take a look at how to set up practice tests and end of course assessments through Kite. So the first thing you'll do is go to Project Lead the Way, you know, the website, plTW.org. Now, if you're lucky, you've got students already registered, and hopefully you're a clever school, and that makes that registration process really easy. The next thing we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll go to My Sites. So we'll click that. And all of the sites that you're available will pop up. Like I have two in particular because I have a virtual school as well. I'll just take you to the, the regular one. So here it is. Here's my school. And you can see all the different classes we have. But what I really am interested in right now is going to the Kite Educator Portal. So I'm, I'm looking right there. Make sure you're in the right area. So Teacher, North High School, and then PLTW. I'm going to go over here to Interim, right here, and I'm going to say Build or Copy a Test. Right, and again, this is just setting up practice test. So right here, you're going to go to Course. When you click in that box, you'll see the courses that you are certified to teach. So here's Intro to Engineering Design. I'll click that, and I'll hit Search. And in a minute, it'll pop up with different practice tests that they've already created. So maybe I want to talk to them about the hiring and ethical side of things. So I'll say, let's do this hiring employees. Let's do a team manager one. So that's going to give them nine questions. And that's good for a practice, you know, because all you're trying to do with the practice is really just get them used to the format of the test and, and also to make sure your computer systems work. So I've got a couple of those. And then I'm going to hit add down here. I'll click add. And you'll notice that it creates that test and it says, all right, all these are going to be on a test. I'll hit save now and I'll just say, I don't know, let's say ethical and hiring. And I would highly recommend coming down to test description because if you do a few of these, it's kind of hard to keep them all straight. So I'll say test with mostly HR related items as well as ethical reasoning and then I'll just hit save okay so it says the test was created and now you can move on so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and assign that test now I've got a test created so I'm going to go back up to interim and I'm going to say my tests so back up to interim and I'm going to go to my tests so let's do that. When we do, it shows up. Here's, you know, the state. Here's our, our district. And here's our school. And we'll hit search. And here it is. These are all the different tests that I've created. So I'm going to click on the one I want. This is the one I just created, ethical and hiring. It turns blue. And I'm going to say automatically to rosters. And then once I click in roster, it'll show up all of my IED courses. I could also say to specific students. Okay. And if I do that, a list of my students will populate. So right now, I'm just going to say automatically to rosters, click here, and then click all three of those and click assign. And then I'll get confirmation that it worked. Now, let's talk about how do we set up and turn on our end of course assessments. It's a little bit different. So let me take you back out here to the home page. So this is where we started. I just logged into Kite and went to my sites. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Manage Tests, and I'm going to say Test Coordination. So there it is, View Test Session. I don't have any yet, but I'm going to click View Daily Access Codes. It's going to come up here, and it's going to say, you know, you, there's a big manual out there, okay? And it tells you how to do all of this stuff. So each what we're going to do, make sure that we read all of that information and go through it and then we're going to click agree to this okay and then if we look right here it says which assessment program and we're going to say test day so if we click assessment program all we have is pltw test day i'm going to say whatever day the date is and usually if i click in there there it is it's going to give me these two items so here's my test code for ied so I will click the Adobe file for IED, and it'll download to my computer. And then once I double click that, it'll give me the daily access codes. 
Notice the time frame. They're only good for 24 hours. I'm actually getting ready to do stage two, so I'm going to have to put both of these codes up on the board so that whoever comes in that missed the day before can start at stage one. Whoever comes in that already took stage one can now start with stage two.